The world was rocked by news of terror attacks in Paris on the weekend. But as global markets, including Wall Street and the Australian Stock Exchange, continue to shake off these horrific events, I spoke to Matthew Felsman of APP Securities to find out how unshakable investors really are. Matthew Felsman, welcome back to Ducoscopy TV. It's a pleasure to receive you again. Yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. No problem at all. Okay, so let's take a look firstly at market sentiment. How much uncertainty are we seeing in equity markets following the weekend's terror attacks? Uh, well, obviously markets hate uncertainty. And uh, when you put it in comparison to some of the events we've seen over the last week, um, you know, a terrorist attack, uh, the potential for someone to declare war, a country uh, on country, uh, the potential for escalation of current conflicts, um, it gives the markets an opportunity to, to really panic. Um, I think the key thing investors need to look at is um, after the geopolitical event occurs, is there going to be any meaningful impact on, say, an economy? Um, is there going to be any meaningful impact on a, um, on a company or a commodity? Um, and if the answer is no, then I think, with, like what we've seen uh, on Monday on the Australian market, is that the negative sentiment is quite short-lived. We saw the Australian market drop and then bounce back within 24 hours. So, um, yeah, pretty reasonable response. We're in the midst of AGM season here in Australia. With that said, what are investors sort of really keeping an eye on at the moment to really guide that direction, that sentiment, and, and perhaps take out that nervousness that we've seen a little bit of underneath? Um, I think the key thing to, um, to realise is that uh, AGMs are the pretty much the only time uh, investors, shareholders and executives have a meaningful discussion and I think what's going to be on the table this year is going to be earnings for uh, and outlooks moving forward more so. Um, you know, the questions that will be asked will be um, how is the company uh, in question going to make their earnings uh, moving forward? Are they going to grow them? Um, are, is there going to be headwinds for them moving forward? Um, and just generally I think people usually take a bit of a view on the way the company presents and what that says about sort of business confidence in general and um, you know the overall economic health of, us, of the Australian economy. Among some of those AGMs we've already had CBA this week we're also seeing blue chip stocks such as BHP really take a sink from that iron ore disaster. Year to date we've seen some huge losses on the Australian share market. Are the blue chips not really pulling their weight? How has this system changed? Um, well short answer is yes, if you compare them to the benchmark, the uh, ASX 200, which is down about 6%, you've got the likes of uh, Telstra down 11%, um, you've got BHP down 32%, Woolworths down 30%, and this is in comparison to some of the less traditional blue chip stocks, so Macquarie Group up 30%, uh, Sydney Airport up 37%, uh, Challenger Financial Group up 23%. Um, so I think moving forward, you're going to continue to see these headwinds uh, and these difficulties that these traditional blue chip stocks are facing. Um, we've got the extra capital requirements for the banks. We've got increased competition in the, the telco and grocery sectors of the market. Um, and obviously cyclical challenges for the resources and um, mining sectors um, and, and um, you know, volatile commodity prices. So I think um, the traditional blue chip stocks um, you know, may have some continued uh, toughness ahead. So with that in mind, then, if the blue chip stocks you know, aren't the way to go, how can investors be sort of smarter in terms of their stock selection? Uh, look, I think if you'd taken a position in these big Australian blue chip companies 20 years ago, you would have done quite well. Um, the miners, B BHP um, and, uh, and Rio have, have ridden out a, a commodity, um, you know, Australian commodity rally. You've had the banks that have had almost perfect post uh, financial crisis, um, like an environment that's been quite uh, accommodative, strong housing market. Um, but I think the key thing people need to focus on and be smart about is stock selection. Businesses that have outperformed over the last 20 years may not be the outperformers again for the next 20. Um, you really need to focus on uh, companies that have um, earnings growth potential and are able to, to have you know, sustainable earnings moving forward, sustainable dividends moving forward. Um, and really, you need to focus on understanding what companies you own and, and why you own them. Um, I think you know, the, the days of sitting back and relaxing um, with a blue chip portfolio and expecting our performance are, are, are truly over. Matthew, always a pleasure to receive your insights. Thank you so much. Thanks.
Smart stock selection there from Matthew Felsman of APP Securities. That is all we've got time for right now. However, I will be back with plenty more exclusive interviews for you right here from the heart of the APAC region. Goodbye.